here we have our beautiful, beautiful planet, but it isn't just a solid ball, it's made up of lots of different bits. On the outside we have the atmosphere. Now the atmosphere extends out quite a long way, but 80% of the um, air, the gas that we breathe, is within 10 kilometres of the surface. It's really hard to judge where our atmosphere ends and where space begins, but it's a very, just a very, very thin layer around the outside. Then we have the crust. Now, this is the bit that we stand on. Um, this is the bit that we get loads of our resources from. We think it's um, quite thin thick when we stand on it to jump on it, but actually it's a really, really thin layer over the top of the earth. Then we have the mantle, and the mantle is the liquid layer that everything um, sits on, that's the lava you're going to see coming out of the volcanoes. Then we have the outer core. and the inner core. We get the majority of our air from the first 10 kilometers of our atmosphere. The atmosphere is a very, very complicated thing. It's a very, very important thing. We are currently affecting it um, with the amount of carbon dioxide that we're putting in there, which is causing climate change and we affected the ozone layer. These are really important resources that we need to protect. The crust is the bit that we stand on, and the depth of the crust varies from about six kilometers in the oceans to about 35 kilometers under mainland areas. Now the reason this varies um, is all to do with plate tectonics, and the um, production of mountains, you're obviously going to be a lot, um, the crust is going to be a lot thicker when you're standing on top of a mountain. We get all of our resources from here when we do all of our mining, all of our stones, all of our um, iron ores, all of our metal ores, all of these come from the crust. The mantle extends to about three thousand kilometers below the Earth's surface. It is a liquid, but it's a very, very slow moving liquid. This is where we are going to get all of our convection currents going on, so that we can have plate tectonics taking place. And you're gonna see um, mantle coming through as lava when volcanoes erupt. The core is the bit in the middle. The outer core is a liquid and the inner core is a solid. It is mainly made up of iron and nickel. I really hope you found this video helpful. You can join my online classroom at Patreon where you'll get weekly assessments so you can keep improving and at the same time support me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. To keep up to date you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And for extra resources, blogs and all of the videos in order you can visit my website primrosekitten.com. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, questions or corrections down below please.